Merry Christmas, everyone, from Manic Episodes to you. And what better way to celebrate the holiday than with an animated special starring a character who is intrinsically connected to being Jewish? The Flushing, Beautiful Flushing, the nanny named Fran. Ladies, gentlemen, and anything and everything in between, I present to you Oi to the World, the animated, yes, animated, Christmas special from the nanny. For a show where half of the shtick involves jokes about Fran's Jewish heritage, the holiday specials were mostly centered on Christmas. While there was a Hanukkah episode, most of the time things were focused on how the Sheffield spent the holidays. And in case you forgot from my WTF Moments episode, Santa Claus actually exists in this universe. Speaking of WTF Moments, this episode begins with Fran watching their previous Christmas special, which would be weird if they didn't establish already that the nanny show exists within the nanny. This episode was written by Fran Drescher and her then-husband and show co-creator Peter Mark Jacobson, so either they were trying to appeal to both audiences, or they figured Christmas was more marketable. And what gimmick goes hand-in-hand -hand with Christmas? An animated special! And seeing as how neither of them had written for animation before or since, you can kind of tell. Which isn't to say the special isn't any good, but animation does tend to work a little differently, so some of the jokes can miss the mark. You know, it's like being back in the womb. If your mother was a chocolate bunny. <laughs> Fran, stop praying. We're gonna be okay. No, honey. I'm praying it's all fat free. You can definitely sense there's a different feel to this than the regular Nanny episodes, and that there was an attempt to make this fit the animated mold more, but sometimes it doesn't quite gel with the Nanny universe. And while the show was a generally family-friendly sitcom with some raunchier jokes thrown in every once in a while, this special was definitely marketed more towards kids, toning down Niles' character in particular and including a lot more fantasy elements. Also, Fran's dog talks? What? I'm not even getting minimum wage! Yeah, that's just sort of... a thing... that happens. And look, the dog doesn't even belong to her in the canon of the show, it's Cece's. But I guess Fran Drescher just really wanted her dog to be a cute sidekick in this. Also, probably the worst element here, not gonna lie. It just doesn't fit. It's just trying too hard to appeal to kids, but not really being charming or funny enough to do that. I'm reminded of Scrappy-Doo or something. That kid never knows when to stop. Do you need a gas sax? <laughs> nah, it passed. Also, where did this cat come from? They have never owned a cat. It's never seen again in this special, even. And while all of the main characters are in this, the only kid that gets a lot of screen time is Brighton, while the other two are just reduced to cameos. It seems strange to me that they wouldn't feature all of the children more prominently, especially since they were aiming at a much younger demographic. The plot of this one is pretty simple. Brighton is acting greedy, so Fran decides to take him to a shelter to learn the true meaning of Christmas. She's hit on the head and enters a fantasy Christmas world where Kris Kringle looks like Mr. Sheffield, and all of the people around them are familiar characters from the show. Including, uh, Niles' as Elphis? Cause, um, Elvis equals funny, I guess? They call me Elvis, because I'm a Elvis, king of the hell. Thank you very much. Yeah, Vegas is looking for someone like you. Fran must teach Brighton not to be so selfish, while simultaneously saving Christmas from the abominable Miss Babcock. And can I say, amazing! Christmas is doomed. <laughs> Don't change the channel. Lauren Lane kills it with this performance. I adore Cece Babcock, and making her like this sentient ice cloud witch is simply fabulous. What is she even? I don't know. Like, this is exactly what I would write if I were gonna do a nanny animated Christmas special. Although, I'm not really sure what kid is really gonna appreciate the Rain Man reference. Cece, the abominable Babcock, I would like you to meet your secret admirer. The Rain Man. Yeah, definitely raining. De definitely raining. It's not like this is a small part of the special. That's like how they solve all of their problems at the end, really. Please take the time to enjoy this gay joke. Hi, doll. I'm Dancer. Baby, remember my name. Remember, remember. All right, cut it out. I'm also confused by the Jewish reindeer, but maybe he's like an independent contractor. He doesn't necessarily need to celebrate Christmas to work for Santa. It's Blintz's. Who else are they gonna get to work on Christmas Eve? There's a musical number in this. I guess because they assume you need to have one in your Christmas special, which is kind of a mixed bag. They made the smart choice of having Daniel Davis, who played Niles, carry the bulk of the song, but then you do have Fran sing a bit. 
But I'm too big. No, you're just right. That's not a wig. Oh, what a sight. You like the seven dwarfs. And I'm Snow White. Let's and let's be honest here. Ignore the fact that Fran Drescher has an annoying voice. She just can't sing. Look, an ice cream castle! Uh -huh. Overall, however, I really enjoy this special. I think because it's so weird that it even happened. It's strange even for this show. So hey, they went out there and did it, and now you have this odd moment in time where the nanny had an animated special. They did make some smart choices, like bringing in a director who specializes in animation and focusing on more of a fantasy element to really go all out with their story. So even if there was stuff that didn't fit with the regular Nanny episode, it was all in her head anyway, so who cares? Fran Drescher's voice goes really well with cartoons, so it fit pretty easily into this universe. Another cute touch was having the animation fit the style they used for the show's regular intro, so it felt a bit like entering that world. They didn't ignore Fran's heritage completely because they threw in a few Jewish jokes and made a fun little short that's easy to watch. If you haven't seen it, it might be worth a look, if not just for curiosity's sake. So there you have it, the animated Nanny Christmas special. I hope you have a Merry Christmas, a Happy Hanukkah, whatever you choose to celebrate, and I'll be seeing you next time.